It's time to battle. We gather Second Wind's most courageous competitors to compete in history's scariest gaming challenges. We'll see what jumps out when these ghouls and ghosts rise from the grave. No righteous wraiths here. All to find out who is the Battle Master. To explain the rules, I have enlisted the help from the Rules Master. Take it away. Hello Internet, I am your rules master for this episode. The game for today is Amnesia the Bunker, a survival horror game where you're supposed to maintain an underground bunker's power, collecting resources all while avoiding the beast. But our competitors are challenged with a different task. Use the game's physics engine to stack the most items. You only get one life. But there are a few more caveats. In order to count, the items must be stacked in the strategic operations room, as that's an area that the beast can get you. And all runners are playing on New Game Plus with the beast's presence, sensitivity, and aggressiveness set to high. Here is the settings that we had all the challengers run with. Thanks, Rules Master. Now let's take a look at our entrance. Nick Calandra. Jesse Alina. KC Wosu. Yahtzee Groshaw. Jess Hoops. For the winner, bragging rights and a spooky prize stolen from Second Wind's burial site. So now, let's battle. Here's the thing, though, that you don't want to edit out, Jesse. You, when you set this to custom, you've got options here that change depending on what was the last thing selected before custom. So if I do shell shock, so like, see how this is all here on easy mode, but then things start changing on hard, and then I go to custom, those stay there. But if you go to easy mode, very easy, look at this. These aren't for me to change. I have two pictures of settings I have to match. These aren't any of them. So when I go to custom, they're already low, baby. That ain't cheating. But all this, oh, 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 oh. it stays, baby. <laughs> ah, I'm going to win. Reduce enemy perception. <laughs> no one told me I couldn't click that. Non-aggressive rats, no one told me I couldn't click that. Yeah, so the challenge is to build as large a stack of physics objects as possible in the strategic operations room, and the winner is whoever puts the most physics objects in the stack. Now I have a specific strategy in mind. Basically comes down to the question, what is a stack? Let's say you've got two boxes. How does one stack them? You put one on top of the other, granted. If you put one next to the other, it's not a stack. Now what if you've got three boxes? You could stack them in a single tower, right, but what if you've got one box at the bottom and two boxes balanced on top of that, because the two boxes on top are slightly smaller? That's still a stack, yeah? What if it's the other way around, if you've got the two boxes on the bottom and the, uh, and the third box on the top of them? Is that a stack? No, that's a pyramid of boxes, that's more of a pile than anything else. Ergo, as long as there's one object on the bottom that everything else is balanced on, that's a stack that every object on top of that first object counts as part of the stack. My strategy is to find one large, flat physics object, and then just pile as many objects as I can on top of that. Higgledy-piggledy, if you will. Whee! I wish I could put this pencil in my pocket. What is making all that noise? Oh, do I not have a gun? Oh, I get the gun from this guy. Maybe. Or not. Maybe. Oh no, yes, I do get it from this guy. Yoink. I need to load it. There we go. Nope, did that wrong. Hurry up and get out of bed. I got things to go stack. Look, he wants my he wants my help. That guy right there. He's not getting it. Nope, I can't help you. Sorry, buddy. Bye bye. I'm taking this and going. It's all the light I get. Because that's as long as I expect to survive. I already hear him crawling around out there, and I don't like it. Uh, oh, on the fire. Oh, why are there rats in here? This run is going to be really bad, guys. 
This isn't fair. There's rats in here. Yeah, you don't need to do anything to me right now. Let me at least beat my record before. Sorry, Nick. No one said it would be fair. Welcome to Battle Masters. That's a nice flat object. Good for stacking. Bucket. My god, look. Look, it's a bucket. If I just put a bunch of things into the bucket, does that count as a stack? <gasps> oh, that's... Okay. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. I may have just cracked the code. Oh, a rib cage. All right, moving on. Nope, not the book. The bucket. Thank you. Well, it looks like uh, Yahtzee is going with the as long as something's on something, it's a stack strategy. While Jess is betting on the if it's in a bucket. Like I always say, you either buck it or chuck it. But it seems like our battlers are planning their stacking strategies as we speak. So let's continue on and see how their plans pan out. Because <laughs> no one said I couldn't change the gamma. <laughs> the room I need is strategic operations, which is out the door to the left to the right. Is now a good time to remind I don't know how to play this game. So I need to get as many items as I can set up to rush down there. Okay, we're gonna do this. Boom. And we're gonna do this. Boom. The fact that I can only carry one of these at a time is just so shit. <laughs> it's not the right way. Boom. Throw it in there. Oh, nope, 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 nope. Shut the door, shut the door, shut the door. All right. Books are like the absolute best thing to stack, I think. Because they got some width. And I'm not stacking them now because this isn't the room that I can stack them in. So, like, none of this matters. I like Jesse G's idea of herding the physics object. As you well know, a player can only carry one thing at a time. Yes, I hope Jesse doesn't throw away his run. Oh, ho, ho, ho. This gun is so empty. One little bullet, two little bullets. And now to use my telekinesis to move this brick over to the padlock where it can be most useful. Oh, someone turned the lights out. It's almost like this is an atmospheric game or something. So another part of my strategy is to try to maximize the use of uh, lighting. Because of course the monster is less inclined to attack you if the lights are on. Here's strategic operations. Uh oh. We'll just uh, let that fire amuse itself for a little while. Aha! Here it is. This is the linchpin of my cunning scheme. And that, fellows, is where the stack begins. So that's one physics object. Two physics objects. Looks like Yahtzee's linchpin is more of a lynch vent cover. I got two chairs stacked on top of each other. <laughs> three chairs. I no longer have three chairs. That's four. He's definitely close. I hear him and the rat. All right, somebody is snacking on something out in the darkness. I gotta verbally count all this, so... One. Two. Three. Not only have I had bad luck recording, I've also had bad luck just getting into this room. I have to get to that other hole and block it. I can't stack anything when he keeps coming out. No! No, rat! No! I'm- no. I'm bleeding. Leave me alone. No! I'm, I'm stuck under this table. I can't get out this way because of the barrel. I gotta move it. Looks like KC is sticking with a traditional single pile, while Nick is employing the table as his stacking base. So now might be a good time to define what a stack is, which is a pile of things arranged one on top of another. So our rules are most items stacked. I'm thinking that piling up your items on the table, each item counts as stacked, as long as the table only counts as one item. Oh my god, why am I always missing the bucket? You know, it would be very in character for me to come up with this 
great strategy of carrying things around in the bucket, but then just not be able to find <laughs> the strategic operations room. I have no sense of direction whatsoever. Oh my god. Oh my god. All right, bucket's starting to get a little heavy. Open that sesame. Let's grab this. Oh no! Oh, my stuff! Oh, looks like Jess's bucket strategy couldn't hold up. Indeed, Jess learns a valuable lesson in physics engines. Currently, Casey is in the lead with a stack of four, with Nick not far behind with three stacked objects and Yahtzee with two. I'm gonna be honest, last time I did this, cause I... Get bent, are you joking me? I was, you saw, it was four before it exploded. Are you absolutely kidding me? You despawned my bag? One, two, can you not? I am busy trying to put up with this freaking stank. Get fucked, game. Are you kidding me? Oh, you're in here. Oh, gotta go. You still out here? Oh, no! Where's my vent plate gone? This is hardly fair, guys. I'm just gonna make my stack on this table where it, where, where it doesn't have to bother Mr. Ratty Pants. Four physics objects. But, okay, this is, this is becoming unconscionable. Okay, let's rethink things a little bit. I don't know what the hell happened to my vent plate. That was like the linchpin of my plan. I just want a bandage. I got my eye on you lot. Both Yahtzee and Jesse G have learned some of the quirks of the bunker's physics objects. Uh, it looks to me like the items taken from other rooms will despawn either after a time or after too many of them are in the same room. Oh no. That's five. One, two, three, four, five. I, these rats eat so loud. Like I'm trying to listen for the, the gargles of this beast boy. It's just a, a bunch of wet ass chewing. Oh, you fucking hat. Does this still count as a stack? Like, I didn't fall all the way over. This is still on top of the other one. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to say that counts. Seven. There goes my stack. You son of a bitch. <laughs> Casey probably would have had more stacked. Unfortunately, he's too distracted by the wet ass chewing. 10. 11. Shit. 25. That count. Is that a finger? Why is there a finger in there? You can't find me. You can't find me because the stupid rat won't leave me alone. I can't stack anything. It's not going well. It's really not going well. Whew. You can't touch me. You can't touch me because I shot you. Go away. I gotta run. I gotta run. He got, he got stuck. He got stuck. I have a chance to get away. <laughs> get in the door. <laughs> oh my god. Let's make this. Item number one in our stack, which I will start right on this bloodstain habit. Oh my god, did that just go into the floor? Two objects stacked. Well, let's see what's in here. Maybe he's got some Bibles. Sure does. Kind of want to do just Bibles now. A Bible only stack. Could this man possibly have more Bibles in here? Let's try and get five before we die. Five. Do you have any Bibles? Six. Oh, lock! Oh, <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, look at those rats. Jess better pray her stack doesn't get mutilated by the multitude of maniacal monsters, because currently she is at six physics objects, while Jesse, Yahtzee, and KC are still working on their stacks. Over by Nick, he's sitting pretty at 25 objects. Uh, for now, anyways. We got, okay, that was six. So we got six. Oh shoot, you know what? If I put things in here, this back wall might actually help me. 
Oh, yes, baby. Seven. Oh, my gosh. You kidding me right now? Yes. That's what? Ten or eleven? Oh, okay. So, eleven. We got eleven. We're going to try a different strategy. Because we got eleven, and that's pretty good. I'm going to spin it this way. Five. Three. I did not mean to lock that. Why is it opening so gosh darn slowly? Are you legit out here? Six. Oh, shit, you are. Oh! Oh, boy! Oh! I walked. Oh, he backed out, huh? Jesse's cart strategy ended up being a rip him apart strategy. Hmm. Well, his final total is six objects, since the total only counts what is currently stacked. Holy shit. There's another vent plate here. The plant's still on. Okay, one, two, three, four physics objects. Twelve. Everything's coming up Yahtzee again. Sixteen. 22. Look at all these physics objects. He's got like nine pencils in here. I hope that wasn't the sound of the monster smashing up my stack of things. Yeah, you see what I mean about trusting physics engines. Hey! 31. 33. I'm genuinely tense. It's really tense holding this cooking pot in front of myself with my telekinesis. Where is he? Uh, 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 uh. Everything came up Yahtzee indeed, as he ended with a whopping 33 objects, eliminating Jesse Galena with his telekinesis. Oh, is that it? We done? What was that? I don't, I don't like that he just bully this whole thing he broke he broke all the doors and all any doors three chairs uh what kind of finagle eight shit stay in place 11. stack is 11. shut up shut your face can i oh there we go we're done <laughs> All right, I don't think that's bad. An 11 stack is not bad. Casey managed to finagle his stack to 11 objects. More than Jesse, but not enough to secure the victory. Uh, run! I got stuck! Ah! Oh God! I gotta run! Get to the room! <laughs> I made it. 35. <laughs> I can get it up there without dying. Oh no, I can't! Oh god! I didn't do it! Am I dead? Am I dead? Am I dead? I'm dead! Both Nick and Yahtzee believed in the pile principle, and I would like to give extra points to Yahtzee for the neatness of his stack, but that wasn't in the rules. Yet somehow Nick managed to follow the rules and get a table filled with 35 objects. Wow. Can Jess take the top spot from Nick, or will the editor-in-chief become the battle master in chief Everything's fine. Did I just trap myself? Yeah, I believe so. Well, that was my one bullet, apparently. Is this the way? Am I going the- Oh, I am going the right way. Wow, I'm shocked. Oh, another book. Beautiful. That is 10 objects. Oh. Yeah, you see me. And I'm in a dead end. Well, ten. That ain't bad. I suppose. We'll see. 
Despite all the Bibles, there is no God in the bunker, only the beast. And a sack of 10 will not be enough to take down Nick, leaving our final rankings. Fifth place, Jesse Galena. Fourth place, Jess Hoops. Third place, Casey Wosu. Second place, Yahtzee Croshaw. And first place, Nick Calandra. Hello, viewers. I am your battle master this month. Jay decided not to show up to this episode. Either he's traveling, he's gonna take care of Ludo, maybe he's fighting off some badgers. Despite all the name calling and everything else from Yahtzee and everyone else on the team, I stacked the most items in the game. I see it is a Game Shark book from 2006 for a Game Shark that I definitely do not own, for games that I definitely don't own or play. But you know what? It's the thought that counts, Jack. So thank you for sending me your junk. <laughs> but that doesn't matter because I am the battle master this month. I get to enjoy the sweet taste of victory. Mm. And I also bet you've been wondering this entire time, what the hell's behind my head? I decided to commemorate the former battle master, J Mate, by making a very nice mural in his honor. May you enjoy. This video is brought to you by Nico Dorico, the magical world, a new vibrant platforming adventure now available on consoles. Tap into your inner child as you run, jump, swing, and swim your way across colorful 2D and 3D levels filled with shiny collectibles, rideable animal mounts, and all sorts of baddies trying to ruin your day. Just be sure to crank up the volume as you listen to the dulcet tones of David Wise, the composer you probably know from the Donkey Kong Country franchise, or for being the touring bass player of the band Tool, and just one of those things is a lie. <laughs> also, if you're one of those lucky people who has friends and or loved ones, the two of you can play together via couch co-op. <laughs> Look at you two, not dying alone. <laughs> what a concept. Nico Dorico The Magical World is available now on Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 5, and the Xbox Series X and S. Head on over to the link in the description to start your adventure today.